I really like the way everything came out of my car. Like it really looked good. And I finally get to reveal it right here. I'm authentic, real name, no gimmicks. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What up, people? Arthur Benny back at you with yet another video, man. Today, we got all this, bro. All this. All this. As you know, this is the Maya table. Got Maya's on top of Maya's right now. Had to move it over here. Boxes on top of boxes. We're going to get to all that soon, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get to all that soon. But today, we got all this to add to the whip. All this to deal with. They sent this to me with nothing at all labeled, bro. Nothing at all. So pretty much got to finish for myself, figure it out. I hit the, the guy up who I ordered it from because, as you can see, on... The instruction sheet or whatever you call this, like a, you know, a little guide to go by. You got each part labeled. I told them it would have been way easier if you would have had these parts labeled. At least write something on the back so, you know, I can match the ones that go together. Now, I just got a thousand pieces of rally stripes with no way to go. <laughs> Nothing to do with it, no way to go. So I pretty much got to feel my way through. What I did right here, I got two. This is my starting point right here. I got two that pretty much match up to this front panel right here. So I'm going to go ahead and use that as my starting point. I already got, I already matched them up. They look good. I already pre cleaned it and everything. Now you do, they do give you the gap on them listed on the paper right here, which is like two and a quarter inches. So that's something to go off of. They don't tell you where to lay it out there. You pretty much just got to find your center point. So you might hear them geese flying by, but in order to find your center point, you basically use a point of reference. I use the nostril right here. Nostril still ain't come in yet. I don't even want to talk about it, but I measure from the nostril all the way to this other nostril right here, which was 30 inches, like dead on 30 inches. So pretty much no math involved. Cut that in half. That was 15. And as you can see, you might be able to see, I got a little bit of small mark on the grill. I just go back later, hit that with alcohol and wipe it off. So that's my center point right there. And as you can see, uh, they said two and a quarter. So I went an inch and an eighth on each side. That is where the end of my decals are lay. Right here and right here. If you see them two marks, boom, boom. Like I said, I used a little sharpie to mark on the paint, but man, it ain't no words. It'll, uh, it'll wipe right off. As soon as I lay this, I'm going to wipe them off and it'll be all right. Look over there chilling, man. It's late night. Again, you know, I got to get it in when I got to get it in. So, late night again, man. We getting it in. We providing this content. And we going to make it happen.
Alright man, I got my first two pieces laid out. And I like it so far. I think it looks pretty good, man. Check it out. You know. It's just a start, but I think that's a real good pop. Put that light on it so you can see. You know, I thought about going with different patterns, different colors, different uh everything about it. But the thing about it is, I already got carbon fiber up here. As you can see, Benny Boy, that's one of the first pieces I put on my car. When my pops passed away last year, you know what I'm saying? They called him Benny Boy, and that's what it is, you know? So, I thought I'd keep it carbon fiber all the way out, you know? Let the whole thing go through, just like that. And... I'm not mad at my decision, bro. I think it looked pretty good. I can't wait to see this, how this thing look in the sunlight. So, these just small pieces, man. Small things to a giant. I know. I know when I put them big strips on there, it's gonna be crazy. Bro. It's gonna be ridiculous. But these went down pretty easy. It wasn't bad. All I'm gonna do tonight is these two pieces right here. These two. And these two, maybe. And then... Save the rest for in the morning. <laughs> I know it's gonna be crazy though. It's gonna be nice. You know what, bro? Obviously, I was lied to. This shop I was gonna take my car to to get the ceramic coating. They told me once I ceramic coated my car, nothing would stick to it. I would have plenty of problems adding like little custom customizations that I like to add to it because of the fact that uh. You know, ceramic is naturally hydrophobic and it don't want nothing to stick to it. But shh, I got news for them. Is it sticky? <laughs> that thing looking cold so far. I don't know why I didn't bend, bend it this, man. I really don't know. But so far, so good. So far, so good, man. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. This is going on a whole lot better. Than what it did on my tail light tent, bro. That's crazy. Putting it on dry and everything. Not using the wet method. You know. Too easy. Too easy. Alright, y'all. This is taking a minute to get done, bro. This is what I got so far. Just two stripes right here. You know. Taking a lot longer than I thought, so we're gonna dog it off for the night. Hop back on it in the morning, I'll see y'all then. So yeah, man, I know I said I was about to go knock it out for the night. But the more I looked at it, the more I just wanted to do something else with it. So I went on ahead and put this left strip. As you can see, it still got air bubbles and wrinkles in it. What I did was I just laid it down and I uh, just need to squeeze it together. I see little water bubbles coming out, you know. I had to do the wet method with this. It's way too big, man. Could have used it dry if I had like uh you know somebody on the other side or whatever, but it's all good though. But look at the look at the pattern in that in that carbon though. That's crazy boy. Damn, that's good quality for real. Alright man, this is day two of installing 
the rally stripes. That's what we got so far. We got the top, the top on coming all down, as you can see. Man, I just took my time with this, so I'm gonna be doing this, you know what I'm saying? It'll probably take me about three days to do this, but I'm gonna put it all in one video. As you can see, man, I'm a perfectionist. I like, I like everything looking real good, real, real clean. So, therefore, I do take my time, you know. And that's the result I get. I still got to come back and put the bottom on because I couldn't figure out what two pieces went with that. So, I'm going to put everything together. I didn't even do the top yet. But what I'm going to do, I'll put everything together first. And then come back and do that little bottom piece. See, as you can see, got these on there. Missing one right here. But that's good. Nah, I didn't do the top yet either. But boom, got that. And also got that one side in the back right here. So that's pretty much all we got right now. Like I said, that's gonna wrap it up for day for today too. And tomorrow I'll come back, put the top on, put the you know the finishing touches on the back pieces and then you know the last two pieces left trial and error you know last two pieces left will be the last ones that go in the bottom so pretty much see y'all then man all right man this is day three day three of what we trying to do basically what we got now still just got the front end sun shining Good day in Louisiana, you know. Still gotta put the bottom on, as you can see. Don't have the top on yet. I already put the top up, measured it. Got the lines in it and everything for the sunroof because they only make it with a straight line coming all the way across. They don't make the little pieces for the sunroof. So basically what I had to do is lay it up here, you know, and make my little lines where I need to cut it, make my cuts and lay it down. Uh, they recommended that I basically just put it up there, have everything flush, good to go, lay it down, and then cut it when I'm done, and then rip that middle piece out. But that will stick to my, my uh, little vinyl wrap on my sunroof, so I got to pre-cut it, get everything right like that. So as far as the back, I got these done. This one, this top, this one. This one and this one. I got two to go down here where the license plate is. But on this one, I put it in. Like when I took it out the wrapper, it was damaged. It had a big old line going across it. So the fix for that, the piece that I got to cut out, these ended up being the same length. So the piece that I'm not using in the place of the sunroof, I'll just cut that off. And pretty much size it to fit right here. So that's going to fix that problem, you know fix that up right quick but what i do i just wait till i finish put everything in and this will be the last piece i put in because of that you know i don't know why they sent that in like that but one piece was damaged i'll hit them up and let them know but you know it is what it is i'm gonna make it work all right i just cut the piece out and man it turned out good man for real as you can see still got a wet you know what i'm saying leaking a little bit but as you can see, along all along the tail light, she's sitting there flush, perfect. You know how it's supposed to be. Boom. As you can see, I cut this with scissors and boom, that bit straight, just like factory. It looks as if it would have came, man. I think I did a good job on that cut. Look at that, Whew, sharp boy. So, what I'm gonna do now is just let this dry on up. You know, let that dry for a little while. Then come back. Probably gonna go ahead and start on the roof or go ahead and knock out these two. And then come back, this ought to be dry. Hit this a little bit with a heat gun and then tuck it underneath. It'd be good to go then. <laughs> my son keep hopping in my car. Pulling all the seats all the way back. That's crazy.
Alright, I got these up here done, in, ready to go. Let them dry before I tuck the edges away. While they drying, I'll do these at the front. And that'll finish off the whole front end when I get that bottom on there. Finally get to reveal how the car look, how everything came out with the stripes on my car. So I just took my time with it, you know, got it done. Look at the whip, man. I can't wait to put that drop on my car. I'm on the hill right now, but this is roundabout what it would look like with the drop on it. Man, that looks so sick. But anyway, back to the stripes. Um, you know, I just took my time and did them. I end up, I don't know what to do with the bottom piece is, but as you can see, it's got a certain gap all the way up all the way along the car and then you get down here and you got this little small gap i don't know what's the deal with that i already contacted the seller and uh they're gonna send me another piece out but i'm thinking about just going with a different type of wrap and black out this whole little piece like make my own little design and black out the whole little piece at the bottom instead of going back with stripes that's the only problem i got with the stripes on my car but other than that everything look good still missing my damn nostrils you know Whew. it's gonna be worth it when they come in but man they take forever to get here bro but they done everything ready the sun I always go out when i'm trying to show my tail lights but it look blacked out right now but it's usually you know dancing right now but yeah, man, that's it. It really came out good. The green still popping. There go the sun right there hitting it real good. But it really, really pops in the sun. You gotta see it. If you, if you hadn't seen like the FA green in person, go to the dealership or something and check it out. Like it's really completely different in person. Pictures, videos, do it no justice, ever. You know, so. That's the car so far, man. That's the new look. That's the new look, man. Let me know how y'all like it. If y'all like it, you know. Stuff like that. Let me know how you feeling about it. I really like the way it turned out. This is something that I said I wasn't gonna get for the longest. Or if I would add stripes, I would add stripes that was completely different from how the car looked, you know. From, I mean, from regular stripes, I would put something totally different. But at the same time, the reason why I went with these, because I don't want, I, I want my car to look different, but I don't want it to be too far out there to where it takes away from the car at the same time. So the reason why I went with these carbon stripes is because, it, you know, it's still a classic look still make the car look classic they even come with these you know so i ain't losing nothing with this one if you look at my old videos i really like the way this car came out if you look at my old videos i talked about uh not going with the bronze wheels because i already had that g2 caliber paint painted orange and i didn't think the br the brush bronze would go with the orange uh caliper but man as you can see as you can see that thing popping that thing looks so good bro looks so good look at that think i made the good decision man to do that like i said i'm almost done with this bill there's much more i can do with it but this particular look 
I think I'm gonna stick with it for a while. I think I'm gonna keep this particular look for a while before I switch it up again because it just looks so good. When you see the car, you already know who it's for, you know? And that's what I really, really like about this build. It's classic, but it stands out at the same time. As you can see the tat right there, the same color as the wheels, you know, classic and stands out at the same time, you know, from the wicker bill. The wicker bill was one of the first things I added on there. This 392 badge came later. And uh, we just did it like that. Got a Durango pulling up. It must be turning around. But, of course we added the 2019 grill. We had the, the hash marks in orange. I took them off like six months after I got the car. Oh, uh, man. Didn't really add much many things to the car but the things that I did add it was like subtle subtle pieces but they changed the look of the car completely and I really really like the way it turned out this car looked completely different with the factory wheels if you go back in the video the factory wheels with the with the tire stickers on it that was a good look too put these wheels on changed the car completely again you know it, it 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 really it really gave the car a different stance, a different look. Like I said, man, I can't wait to drop this thing. I think that's gonna be the next mod. It's gotta be the next mod. Cause that wheel gap is ridiculous. It ain't really that big. It's just because I'm slanted down on the hill right now, but it's it's bad, you know, so we gotta fix that. But other than that, <laughs> other than that. Like I said, I'm gonna play it for a while, you know. Hit a few car shows, let this let this uh, look be seen, then hit them again with another switch up. Keep this exterior look for for now, for at least like a couple months, two three months or whatever before I change it up again, and uh, start working on the inside of the car. <laughs> 